Hey guys, it's Angel B here and welcome back to your brand new video on my channel. This is another 1.16.5 mod video. So before we get into this, please be sure to subscribe and follow my Twitter and Instagram. Links are all in the description. Let's get right into this video. Up first, we have Rising Tides. This adds these super cool sea creatures to the game, such as manta rays, lionfish, sharks, and the animations of these are really, really cool. It adds penguins, crabs, in different variants and some snails. Up next we have small ships. Now this adds these boat-like ships to the game and it adds a type where you can add villagers to them for easy transportation of villagers. You can ride them, you can break the sail down, it supports different wood types. And there is a couple different types, you can store stuff in them too. Up next we have the Degu mod. I think I'm saying that wrong. This is the little creature to the game. You can give it bushes and it will be tamed like a dog. You can dye the colour, them so shall stand and breed them. Up next we have framed blocks. Here it adds these framed cubes to the game and I am just going to add terracotta inside of them and you can use a hammer to remove it. So if you want to build a house but not sure of the material, you can just use this mod. It comes in all different variants, corners, slabs, stairs, trap doors, pleasure crates, fences, gates, even just regular doors, walls, vertical slabs. It could just make your build so much better and give it so much more potential. Up next we have the search chest mod. If you search for an item in a chest, it will find it for you by crossing out the others and making it red. Up next we have skinned lanterns. Now this adds a whole bunch of lanterns to the game as you can see here. The crafting recipe is pretty simple for them, just corresponds to what lantern it is. You can have them hanging from ceilings, trees like this by using chains. As you can see there is a zombie and a skeleton but it's a bit difficult to make out with shader and a puffer fish. Pac-Man, there's bees, there's just like plain coloured ones and it's just, it's so pretty, this mod. Up next we have Vanilla Boom and it adds these blocks as you can see here. It aims to expand the vanilla experience. It adds dye blocks, different bookcases, different types of glass. It adds paintings, but you can actually craft which painting you want by using these materials here. It adds a really whole a whole bunch of cool features like this new type of gravel, which you can get from a biome. Here are a lot of the items you can get, such as fried eggs, polar bear meat, pine cones, the different types of ladders. As you can see, the variant blocks. It adds old school roses from original Minecraft updates, as well as this stone right here, this green coloured stone. Up next we have Mousy's mobs, and this adds these creatures to the game called Barkers, when when you kill them they drop a mask and it can give you an effect. They have really cool animations and they can talk to each other. If you head off and travel into a savannah type biome, you will find the boss base. This adds a giant version of them, who basically is a really difficult boss to kill. You will have to be strategic about this. <laughs> it adds these little tribes, which I think are so cool and a really good addition to Minecraft. It adds these little huts, which have chests, and it also adds these. So these are pretty much impossible to kill unless you have some sort of bow and arrow. They do appear, as you can see, it killed me instantly, I couldn't even attack it, but once you do kill it, you can get a baby foleth seed. You plant it and you'll get a baby foleth. Here is this little glowy creature, which is also really cute. It drops luminous jelly, you can eat it. This creature is called a lantern. Up next we have this creature, which is a naga, and it is a coastal cliff creature. They have acid venom, they can kill you really fast. So adds this creature called a Frostma, which I think is the most difficult one to kill, and these little grottles, which are really cute. If you mine them with the pickaxe, they'll give you diamonds. But they are so cute, why would you want to kill them? Here we have the mod Stoneholm. Now this adds villagers to the game, but they are underground cave villagers, as you can see here. There is iron golems, villagers, there is different sections where you can trade, there is a little kitty cat. <laughs> There is the little houses, which are these, and there is a chest room. The loot is not that great in this one, but it might be better for yours. <laughs> so that is it for this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Please leave a like and subscribe if you have, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Goodbye.